Hey everyone and welcome to week 25 of the OLED burning test on my LG C9 OLED. This particular TV was purchased back in February of 2020 and it's been in use since then. Um, for those who haven't seen these particular videos before, basically what I do is I run a burning test every week um, just showing basically the state of the panel. Um, TV is primarily used for gaming and um, there is some mixed mixed usage as well but basically recently what I've been doing is just prove the actual usage of the TV um, what I do is I start with this service menu so just here UTT which is the hours used which is 1081 um, OLED compression count um, or compensation count um, OFFRS which is the number of 204 that's the mini pixel refresher which kicks in um, after every four hours of continuous use and one is the manual pixel refresher that I actually ran myself uh, back when I first received the TV. So with that done, let's come out of that and I'll just restart the burning test. Right, so whilst this is running, um, as always, for those who haven't seen my previous videos, basically what I'll do is I'll just give you a brief description of usage for the past week. So each day uh, for the last week, we, we have watched a movie at night. As well as that, it's been used every single day for, basically, my, my son's used it for gaming Fortnite. Um, whilst this is cycling through on screen, I'll also be looking, um, not through the viewfinder, but directly at the screen and whilst it cycles through I'll just try and see if there's anything that I can actually notice. Um, basically the reason I started doing these particular videos was um, it was actually after a certain YouTuber posted videos almost constantly state slating the C9 um, or more so the the B series uh, LG OLEDs but he obviously included the the C series in that. I'm pretty much stating that he got burning after um, a number of weeks and burning is pretty much inevitable on every single set and you cannot use it for gaming and all the rest of it and anybody who's watching this will probably know who I'm referring to so what I did, decided to do was obviously with my usage uh, being primarily gaming on this set or primarily being content with static logos I thought I'll, I'll keep a track as we go along um, in terms of how many hours the panels you've been used for, uh, how long it's been used for, and basically just give give everybody out there um, who may be in two minds as to whether to go down the OLED route, um, basically more information to actually work with. So as I say, basically the, the TV is used heavily for gaming and that's primarily just one game, so it's just Fortnite. Um, with my channel, wide, I've done various videos that you can see the playlist, TV and videos playlist, and you'll see a variety of uh, different content on there, but there are a lot of videos in there related to burning itself and In those I pretty much um, Reiterate the fact that as long as you're varying content generally you should be okay um, and one of the most common Comments I actually get back is that the person basically just plays the same game for eight hours a day every day um, so that's why they're worried about uh, burning. Now, my son actually uses it primarily for Fortnite. He, when we first got the PS4, um, he used to vary the games quite a bit, but basically with what's going on and with every all the kids being off school, um, basically my son and a couple of his mates have literally just been playing uh, their own little tournaments that they set up, um, as well as some of the weekly uh, challenges that they actually take part in. Um, the, the weekly ones generally can be I think it's around three hours long. Uh, the ones that they're playing just between themselves, sometimes they can play for maybe four or five hours in a row. So obviously that's one one particular game that's got a lot of static content. Um, for those who aren't aware, Fortnite has some hoods up in the top left, as well as I believe the map. Um, I think it's either top right or bottom right. And there's also some... Um, IP information, well, ping information and things like that just, just around here as well. So if obviously that was going to cause an issue, you'd be seeing that in the corners of this particular screen. Now, whilst I just come down and look, um, obviously with, with the way these um, videos are recorded, um, it can be difficult to try and get the exposure right. The, the reason for the backlight is mainly just so then when it goes from 
a color to pure black the camera doesn't just start tripping out because obviously with it being OLED it will go to pure black at the moment it is daytime so you may have a little bit of light bleed from the windows but essentially it could hit pure black that's why I found after doing the early videos that I need some sort of ambient lighting to actually capture what's on screen normally whenever I'm using the TV we do not use this ambient lighting now when it comes to um, other than gaming content so apart from movies and TV shows which we do watch quite regularly um, the other biggest uh, use of the TV is basically sports um, sports as anybody who's watched them will know generally always have at least um, two bits of static content so they'll generally have a a clock in either t the top left top bottom left something like that or and then they'll also have the the logo of whichever channel or basically uh, um, producer is actually putting that content out so for that reason sports as well as gaming both suffer from a similar thing where basically you're going to end up with a static logo um, I do have videos on my channel for best ways to actually set up your TV in terms of logo luminance adjustments and things like that so if you haven't seen those obviously go check them out but as you can see from this particular video we're now um, I believe it's 25 weeks let me just yeah 25 weeks um, of usage over a thousand hours nearly coming up to 1100 hours now and as you can see the panel not only does it show zero sign of any particular type of burning or anything but this particular panel as i've said in the past is also very very clean as well so there's very little um, vignetting dirty screen effect whatever you want to actually call it going from pure black up um, five scale uh, five percent grayscale for example um, you don't really get any of that horrible kind of banding that um, a lot of other um, YouTubers have actually posted videos about with B-series TVs and also surprisingly with a lot of the new CX, the C10 series. So a lot of those have basically come through with a lot worse panels essentially. Not that you're going to notice that in probably 95% of content. It's very rare that you actually notice that. 